hello in this tutorial we are going to find out cut length of triangular stirrup okay so let's get started here we have a column detail the cross section of our column size is same as 18 inch by 12 inch okay now let's look about the given data over here a we know is 12 inch b 18 inch okay and dia that we are using again as three number and a concrete cover is 1.5 inch okay and hook length over here is 10 d so this is basically the given data now let's look about the cut length of triangular stereo formula it is h into 2 so what is h h is basically the distance right from this position up till here this is h okay h into 2 because we have two sides plus a a is basically this one right from this position up till here uh, from this A we need to detect concrete cover from both ends and die of external stirrup as well this one okay so this is a plus hook length we have this hook length okay and minus we need to do the band detections now here uh, it is mentioned as where h is equal to this h is equal to x square plus y square under root okay so we'll use here what Pythagoras theorem okay x square plus y square under root where this one where x is equal to a by 2 x is equal to a by 2 so we will divide this triangle into two parts to make it as right angle triangle so what will happen uh, we need to find out this value so where x is equal to this is x is equal to a by 2 okay this is x right from this position up till here this is x this is a by 2 and y is equal to this is y is equal to b so it will be equal to b so we need to find out x and y in order to find out this h okay so for small a what we need to do is we need to just detect a concrete cover or clear curve from both ends from this large a minus 2 into die of external stirrup as well okay die of this in order to reach up till this position and b is equal to we need to detect concrete cover from both ends okay from this large b minus we need to do the detection for die of external stirrup as well so this is a and b hook length we know it is a 2 into 10 d because we have two hooks over here this one and this one and band detections uh, we have 120 degree angle this one 120 degree angle okay so we have 120 and the base we know it is 45 degree so it will become what bend directions for 120 degree is 2.67 and bend directions for 135 these two hooks is uh, 3d okay so this is some data okay we need to find out all of the values in order to find out this edge and uh, we know x is equal to a by 2 y is equal to b okay and h will be equal to x square plus y square under root okay this is pythagoras theorem and i have already explained what is x what is y how we can find out x and how we can find out a and b as well okay this is very important to understand now let's move forward and let's put the data over here so cut length of a, a triangular stirrup a is equal to 12 inch okay from large a we need to detect concrete cover from both ends uh, minus we need to detect dia of external stirrup as well so we will take the dia as three number for this stirrup as well okay 2 into 0.375 inch because we have two ends so a will be equal to 8.25 inch now b is equal to 18 as large b minus 2 into clear cover minus dia of external stirrup as well okay the same as here so b will be equal to what 14.25 inch now in order to find out this edge uh, we will put it as in pythagoras theorem so it will be equal to what we know x is equal to a by 2 so a is 8.25 inch divided by 2 and then it's square okay a by 2 square plus y is equal to b so we will put the value of b over here 14.25 square okay so h will be equal to what 14.83 now cut length will be equal to what h into 2 this is a formula plus a that is 8.25 inch p 
plus we need to add here what hook okay we have two hooks 10 into d okay minus we need to do the bend direction so we have 120 degree bend and 135 degree bend okay so we have two 120 degree bends 22.67 into 0.375 and we have two 135 degree bends 3 into 0.375 okay this is diameter so cut length of this stirrup will be equal to 41.16 inch mean 3.43 feet okay so this is how we can find out cut length of triangular stirrup hope you really understand the session i'll see you in the next